So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the USB charging mod for the X Lite. Now I'm going to show you the easiest way. There's no need to take apart everything except two screws and just pop open the controller. First thing you're going to have to do is remove two screws from the edges right here, just those two, and then you're going to be good in that perspective. Also make sure you remove the end caps here. Now the way that I like to approach opening this is I'd get a flathead screwdriver and note where I'm doing this. I'm doing it on the back side. I'm going to install it just right here because it, it could be a kind of a pain and just a little pressure, pressure upwards, not downwards like this. You want to go like this and that'll pop open this side. And then next thing you want to do the same thing to this side and then don't use common sense telling you to pull. You want to push up. So you want to push this part down. There we go. And that'll open up really nicely. There's nothing connected to the backside, so we're good in that perspective. So the next step is to remove these two screws. I've already removed them and I've set them up into my charging board right here. However, there's a little side twist. I put two small rubber gaskets on the just on the behind of this board. Installing it just like this should not cause any short circuit unless there's some solder seeping through the back of these holes, which is why we're going to solder these up first here. And also, once we're going to install the LED, I'm going to show you a really nice spot where you don't need to cut anything. So right now, obviously, we removed the two screws. Let's bring in our board here and let's just start preparing the wires. So in the package, they do provide us with the wires here. Now I'm going to use the yellow for 2S. I'm going to use the white for the 1S the black for ground and the red for the five volt, which should be right here. So the first step I like to do is just add the solder to the pads that I'm going to need here. For example, we have the 2S here. Just add a little bit, add a little bit here and just add some more here. There we go. That's really nice. Next, we want the LED pads because this is going to be our LED indicator to tell us if it's charging, fully charged and everything of that nature. Next thing, we're going to need the five volt right here. So we're just going to give it five volt. And it's okay, you can put the ground either here or here, because anyways, it's all connected within the board itself. So you can either use this one or use this one, whatever one you like. Next, I'm going to grab my 2S wire here, and I'm just going to solder it into place. I'm going to heat up the pad first and bring in the wire. Boom, really nicely. Next, I want to go ahead and do the 1S. So I'm going to heat up the pad again, then bring the wire. Same thing goes for ground. Now I'm going to take the red wire and go to the 5 volt. Now we have our LEDs here. Now what I'd like to do is uh, trim the ends of these because they're a bit too long. I don't want them to stick down or just poke somewhere where it's going to cause a short circuit. So right now I'm guessing that the red is going to be for the positive LED and then the blue is going to be for the negative of the LED. So the top pad here is the negative. So we'll start with the top pad because it just makes it a little bit easier to solder for me since I'm right handed. There we go. We have our LED installed and now we're going to do the positive of the LED. Okay, next and very important step to do is check the backside, make sure there's nothing leaking through. As you can tell here, we have a little bit that's seeping down, not too much. Sometimes you can get a really big blob just hanging down, which could be really bad. And here are the gaskets that I placed right under the board here, which should give us enough space without it having to cause any sort of short circuit. And what you can also do is add some electrical tape on the bottom of this if you wanted to. And that would be the best thing to do, add some of this. But uh, I think I trust my own work. Hopefully nothing will happen on mine. All right, so now the next step, what we want to do is we want to find the 1S, which is in that corner right there. We can see it. The 1S is right there, that pad right here. And then the 2S is going to be that pad. And then we're also going to need ground, which is going to be this one right here. I'll show you how to set this up. And we're going to take the 5 volt from the top of this capacitor. I'll show you a nice technique how to solder to that so you don't ruin anything. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to screw in my board here. I'm just going to bring it over, make sure it's lined and just screw that right in. I don't want to put it on too tight and this is not going to affect it closing. I've already tested that. So you don't want to tighten it too much. There we go. Really nice. You'll start to see the board kind of bend slightly. And if you take a deeper look or a closer look, you'll see that we do have quite a lot of space here. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see, but you see there's a space between this board and this board here. And the back of the PCB on this has no uh, copper plates or anything, so we're not going to be risking any short circuits. Now, for the LED, I'm just going to move it off to the side for now because I'll show you where is a really nice place to place it in a bit. Now, what we can do is remove everything, but I highly recommend we don't do that. We can start removing all this. It's just a really big headache. What we can do instead is just remove this screw right here. And what that allows us to do is remove this whole little piece and just give us space to work. Just remove this one and pull this off. 
And now we have space to work on those two pads right there. But if you still don't feel comfortable, then go ahead and start removing this. But you're just adding extra work for yourself here. If you get a small enough tip, you should be able to get in there. So right now I'm trying to find an angle where you can see and I can see as well. So make sure the tip is clean before approaching this. And then we're going to go approach those to the 1S and the 2S right there. I'm going to remove move these wires slightly. If you touch these wires, it's okay because these are silicone wires. So they're not going to burn on you, which is really great. So I'm just going to come in from the side. Don't have to be there long. Just move back and forth between them. And there we go. And now we just got ourselves some solder on them. So let's go ahead and set them up. So the bottom one is the 1S and the bottom one is 2S. Now I recommend we start with the 1S because it'll be a lot easier. So I've set the white wire here to be the 1S. Now it'll probably be much easier if you had some sort of a tweezer, which I'd recommend you do, such as these little tiny tweezers. I'll have some linked down below if you don't have any. They're really cheap and they come in really nice packs and um, they're just very useful to have all around for a lot of things. So now what I've done is I've just bent the wire slightly and I'm just going to have it just go into place here. There we go. Just like that. And I'm just going to come in and just push on it. And that's in the place. Just double checking it. Looks really good. It's not coming off anytime soon. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and grab the 2S. 2S is going to be a little bit easier because we do have more space to work with here. So I can just easily do that with my hand. Just align it to the top of it and then just bring it in. Just guide it in with the soldering iron here. Okay. So now the 1S and the 2S are into place here. And we'll figure something really nice for this later. We could wrap them like this and bring in another little zip tie and hold it into place so we don't have any issues here. Now, all we have to do is solder the ground and the 5 volts. So let's do the ground right here, which we saw a little GND pad right here. And again, I'm going to start by applying a little solder to that. It'll say GND, which is this one right here. All right, and now I'm just going to bring in my ground wire and just heat up the pad first and then bring the wire on top of it. And that should be good. So now we have ground. Next thing is the five volt, which is gonna be the most tricky part, the trickiest part for most people. What you can do to make your life just a little bit easier is we can remove those two screws. So removing those two screws in this little module is very simple. Just remember the orientation. The orientation should be pretty simple and the wire should stay as is. That'll just give us more space to actually work down here with the five volt. All right, so now for the five volt, we're gonna go to this right here. We're gonna solder to the top right here. Don't solder to the side unless you know what you're doing, but you can solder it just right here, right on the top where that little part goes, but try not to put too much solder. So let's try to do this together here. It might be a little bit difficult on camera, but I'll do my best to kind of cover it as best as possible here. So first thing you want to make sure the tip is really clean. Then you want to come right here. You want to just barely touch, barely touch it just like that. And I'm just going to get a closer look because I can't see. And we've just added a little dab of solder right to it. So that's just going to be great. And then we're going to grab this one. Now the aligning is very important. Try not to have it aligned to anything else that it's going to be, the wires going to be touching anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand it up next to it and then lean it like that on the, on the capacitor. And then I'm just going to come from the behind the wire and then just touch it like this. So I'm going to try my best to show you how I'm going to do this. So right now it's behind the capacitor, the little wire right there. And I'm just going to come and I'm just going to touch it. And that should have gotten it right here. Let's double check. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that. So you kind of see how it is now. It's just leaning right on that capacitor. Now we bring her back our module bay connector. I'm just going to connect it into place. I'll skip right over this. Make sure you tighten these screws back because it gives you that a little extra angle for the module to plug in once everything is closed. So now we have, we're left with the LED here. All right, and now we're gonna do the cable management. We're gonna take the ground 1S and 2S wires that are coming from here, pull them straight up like this, not too hard, just slightly, and then twist it like that. And then that'll kind of just start coming down on in on itself. And then you wanna grab yourself a little nice zip tie here and just stick it in nice and easy. And that's what she said.
you don't want to put too much pressure on it. You want to kind of want to keep the the tip of it on the lower side. So just in case it doesn't hit with the plastic piece. And when you're cutting this, be careful not to cut the wire. I've done that before. And it's just a nightmare. You're going to have to do everything all over again. So now our wire management is basically done. This looks really clean. Now we're left with the LED here. Now what are we going to do with the LED? So the LED comes like this. It comes straight. I like just I just bent it to a 90 degree angle. And if you take a look at the back, you'll find there's in the middle one of these is going to be open. And either if you're on mode one or mode two. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue and stick that there. And that'll actually show through there. And personally, I think this is the best place without having to cut up your uh, controller to make a new hole for that. So that's what I'm going to do here. All right. So I'm just going to add a little bit right on the edge here, just like that. I think that should be good. It's probably is a bit too much, possibly. And make sure this is not going to hit anything. So I'm going to have it be bent towards the inside, just like that. Probably downwards is better. I probably have it set downwards because the module will be here, the little wires for the module. All right, so now I've gone ahead and closed it up and I didn't do anything with the wire of the uh, LED. And as you can tell, we, it is sticking out just fine. Now, if you tightened it too much, if you did remove it, just bring it, bring in a little screwdriver. Don't bend the pins just slightly and the plastic will kind of move it into place. And it should just stick out like that, which is really great. Again, probably difficult to see on camera. And then boom, everything's done. Everything's connected. So now let's go ahead and test this guy. All right, guys, so now everything is plugged in and it has been charging. It was at 7.9 volts. And uh, if you want to boot this up, you have to remove it. Even without the mod, you'd still have to remove the uh, USB here. And we're just going to plug it in. Everything's still working. And we're going to go ahead. Yeah, look, it's 8.3 volts almost. So as you can tell, it's 8.3 volts right now, which is really great. Or 8.2, it just dropped. And now it should jump up to 8.3 because it was just 8.3. And we're going to do USB storage right now. Boom, 8.3 volts. So it is charging. And the reason why it did that is because it was 8.3 when I first booted it and it just quickly dropped to 8.2. So as we can tell, it is charging. And look at that place of the USB. It just looks really nice. Well, what I can immediately tell you though, be careful with what wire you use. You need a really good USB wire or else um, it won't charge um, that great. And I've noticed that with the X9 Lite Pro, which I'll have an update video on. But like this, as you can tell, it's actually charging to a full battery, which is really great. And um, yeah, that's going to include it for this mod, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have it linked down below and some other things as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.